Genesis chapter 35 verses 17 to 18 KJV 17 and it came to pass when she was in hard labor that the midwife said unto her fear not thou shalt have this son also 18 and it came to pass as her soul was in departing for she died that she called his name Benoni but his father called him Benjamin Sometimes our emotions overwhelm us so much that we say things we don't mean to in the heat of the moment. In today's Bible reading, Rachel called her last child a child of sorrow because of the intense pain she went through to deliver him. Thank God Jacob changed that name. You need to be very careful of what you say when you are sad, excited, angry, or frustrated because whatsoever you say may have permanent consequences. Esau sold his birthright to his brother when he was hungry. Be careful of the agreements you enter into when you're desperate so you don't live to regret them. Samson was head over heels in love with Delilah, and because of this, he divulged the secret of his power to her. You may not know it, but the devil is watching you. He is taking note of your moods and emotions. Once he notices that you always talk without restraint, he will set you up to say the wrong thing at the wrong time. Judges chapter 11 verses 30 to 31 says, And Jephthah vowed a vow unto the Lord and said, If thou shalt without fail deliver the children of Ammon into mine hands, then it shall be that whatsoever cometh forth of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in peace from the children of Ammon shall surely be the Lord's, and I will offer it up for a burnt offering. In the passage above, the devil had seen the fear and doubt in Jephthah, so he suggested that Jephthah should promise God a sacrifice of anything he saw first upon his return without thinking. Jephthah made that promise. On getting home, however, the devil arranged for his only daughter to be the one he saw first. If only he had thought deeply about the vow before saying it. Don't become a victim of your own words. Think carefully before saying anything. If you find yourself at a family function and have the opportunity to speak to your relative, think carefully before you speak. Don't assume all your family members are your friends. Remember, Joseph was sold by his blood brothers because of the dreams he shared with them. Genesis chapter 37 verses 5 to 28. God will help you. With this understanding, keep this action point in mind. Make it a habit to always think carefully before you talk. If you made it this far into the video, comment, mind your words, and like this video. Let us create massive awareness for the kingdom of heaven in these last days.